we're gonna do a cylinder, but um, I was thinking originally that that we should do it in two point perspective, but there's really no point because um, whether you're in one point or two point perspective, a a circle in perspective is always going to be an ellipse. It doesn't matter whether you're in one point or a two point perspective if you're um, if you're projecting a cylinder upwards or if you're projecting it sideways it doesn't matter it's always it's always going to be an ellipse and ellipses are very tough to draw get practicing with them do them a lot that's the only way to do the only way to do it really well so we're going to project project one um, uh, vertically first um, and just use uh, one point perspective um, so we're going to pick our pick our vanishing point and we're going to use the same method you know, circle inscribed around a square. So draw out our plane. Pick a couple of hor horizontal lines. Something that looks like a square vaguely projected. So um, I think we'll I think we will actually do the centering method on this one. That'll help. Okay, so we've centered, but um, something that you're gonna that you're gonna find interesting about about ellipses is that uh, um, if you were to go with the visual center and project an ellipse around like this, making sure that you touch the tangent points, which should be at these at these center lines. What you have is a lopsided ellipse. Okay, the typical form of an ellipse is that uh, the tangents are exactly in half in both directions. That's what that's what makes an ellipse. So if you inscribe this this um, circle in our perspectival center here, um, you've made something that's not really an ellipse. So what you have to do is uh, use our actual uh, our actual two-dimensional center on the page to project uh, to project this ellipse. So I just wanted to show you that um, because it's a limitation of, of perspective and why circles are slightly different than everything else. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, idealize this a little bit. Okay. make us a, uh, a little rectangle to work with. What we're going to do is, uh, since we got a ruler, um, we're about an inch and an eighth. So we're going to go split the difference and find our, our mathematical center. Boom. Right there. So that's actually going to be our, uh, our tangent points here, 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 and here. And it's going to look a little bit different, but you'll see that it's going to be a lot more, um, a lot more comfortable when you look at it. Okay, that looks more like a circle laying down in perspective to me. I don't know if it does to you or not. But yeah, that looks a lot better. It looks much less lopsided. So um, we're going to actually uh, follow this, uh, this same method and just project upwards. Okay, 
We're going to pick the uh, top of our top of our plane up here. We're going to pull our vanishing point to it. All right. And then we're going to project upwards and find our uh, edges of the back plane. I'm going to draw all, all the way across. Then I'm going to do, uh, do the same thing. Now, when you pick this height, you're going to have two different, slightly different shaped ellipses. You can see that uh, this one is, a, is an inch and this one is an inch and, and an eighth from top to bottom. And they're going to be um, roughly the same width. So that's just fine. We're going to mark a half inch on both sides. So we've found our uh, our tangents right here. I'm using pencil to draw the ellipse, so you know you can kind of clean it up. And I'm actually going to find our uh, our mathematical center up here as well. So we've got one, two and almost seven eighths. Give me around there. So all that's left to do is draw the edges. And there, we have a cylinder in perspective. So what I want to do is really just kind of refine this line slowly, pick the, uh, pick the one that I think looks symmetrical and, and natural. So we've drawn through the form, we can kind of clean it up, erase some of the waist lines that are kind of irrelevant. And what's cool about mixing uh, pen and pencil in this is you can still kind of see the construction lines, which is oh so important when you're doing perspective. I'm going to actually uh, erase these back, these back lines, which they won't disappear completely but it'll help things uh, along. Then I'm just gonna um, add some value to it just to uh, draw attention to its dimensionality. Starting out with the shadow core, a little bit of made up reflective light over here. progressing lighter and lighter as we come around the form. All right. So there it is, a uh, projected cylinder.